8.2 Proving Triangle Similarity by Angle Angle, or AA. Essential question is what can you conclude about two triangles when you know that two pairs of corresponding angles are congruent? Uh, what you will be expected to learn how to do is to use this angle angle similarity theorem to solve problems. In the previous lesson, we talked about uh, how to determine if polygons were similar, what that meant. Uh, so, just as a quick review, to determine if polygons are similar, the corresponding sides had to be proportional and the corresponding angles had to be congruent. Uh, today, our focus is talking about similar triangles. So it turns out that there's a shortcut, or several shortcuts, uh, to determine triangle similarity. Now what we're going to do um, in this example is, of course, obviously determine if the triangles are similar, and if so, we want to write a similarity statement. Well, it turns out one of the, the shortcuts is what's called the angle-angle similarity theorem, and that just says that you only need two pairs of angles to be congruent. So uh, in this particular example, um, Angle D and angle G are congruent based off of the diagram, the information from the diagram. Okay. Now, this angle is 26, which is obviously not equal to 64, uh, but because uh, it is a triangle, I know all the angles have to add up to 180. Uh, so I have a 26 and 90. So I know that I can do 26 plus 90 plus this missing angle here, we'll call that X, has to equal 180. Okay. Um, so if I add 26 and 90, that gives me 116. Right, and if I subtract the 116 from the x from the 180, excuse me, I get that x is 64. So that tells me here that this angle E is actually 64 degrees. Okay, well, that tells me then that angle E is in fact congruent to angle H. Okay? And according to the angle-angle similarity theorem, that's all I need to prove. I don't need to know anything about the sides. I don't need to know anything about this angle K. Um, although I could figure it out and confirm that that is 26 degrees, um, but that's it. I just need two pairs. So because I have these two pairs here, then I would say, um, yes, triangle, now remember, the order matters. So if I go C, D, E, then I have to say C corresponds to K. So this is going to be triangle K. G, H, okay, by the okay. So I know the triangle C E is similar to triangle K G H by the A A triangle similarity theorem. All right, with this example, um, they're telling me that it's these two triangles are similar, we got to figure out how. Now, um, this triangle ABE is kind of sitting on top of this triangle ACD. So it might be useful to go ahead and kind of um, draw this out over to the side, and you'd have A, E, B right here, and this would be 52 degrees. Right? And then you'd also have, um, if I drew the bigger triangle, something like it, just kind of as a reference, this would be A, D, C, and you know this is 52 degrees. Okay, so obviously you could say that um, angle A, B, E is congruent to angle A, C, D because they're both 52 degrees. Right? Your reason would be because that's given. Okay, now the reason for separating them is that I could see that I have these two angles up here. They're both angle A. So I would know that angle A obviously is congruent to itself, congruent to angle A. And we would call that, if you remember from earlier lessons, that would be the reflexive property of congruence. Okay. So here's my two congruencies. I know triangle, or excuse me, angle ABE is congruent to angle ACD. Okay. Because that was given, we were told that. And then angle A is always going to be congruent to itself, angle A. So we would say triangle ABE is similar to triangle ACD by AA similarity. Okay. 
my a, a similarity theorem. All right, um, on this example, same idea. Triangle SVR is similar to triangle UVT. The question is how. We want to show that. Uh, for this one, I'm going to kind of do it more like a, I guess, a formal proof. We'll go ahead and put our little statement and reasoning columns. Okay, so I know that's given is SR is going to be parallel to TU. That's what those little arrows mean. Um, that's given. Okay. Now, because of that, um, remember that we have two parallel lines intersected by a transversal. So that's going to tell us that this angle R right here is congruent to this angle T up there. So uh, let's go ahead and write that. I know angle R is congruent to angle T, and that would be our alternate interior angle steer. Okay. Now the other pair that we always need, because remember we have to have two pairs to use the angle angle similarity, um, is I have this segment right here, RT, intersecting this segment, SU. Anytime we have that, Remember that we always have uh, vertical angles. Okay, so I would say angle SVR is congruent to angle. So if I go S to V to R, then I've got to go UBT. So this would be U B T, and we would call that that would be our vertical angles. Change the pins here, our markers. That would be our vertical angles, our congruent theorem, okay. which gives us our two angle pairs. So then I would say um, triangle SVR is in fact similar to triangle UBT okay. by our angle-angle similarity theorem. 